How you going? Welcome to another YouTube clip. Just going to have a yak to you while I do this cattle fence. This week uh, we're going out harvesting possum. Come on dogs. And uh, the purpose is to get some dog tucker for my three pups. Because in my mind the best food is a whole animal for particularly growing pups. That's what they've been getting the whole time. So we're going out with a spotlight in the 22. The thing is we'll actually be carrying the possums back off the hill. At this time of the year the pollen cones are, uh, are out. And the possums are travelling over a lot of uh, ground to come out in the open. They'll cross over to get to the pollen cones wherever they are. So that's uh, a good time to be hunting. Plus it's a full moon this week. Um, here, where are you going? So uh, join me and Jeff as we get out there and uh, watch your horn skill. <laughs> you watch those bloody horns. Um, We'll be uh, carrying them back off the hill and bringing them home, which is a lot of work. So it'll be pig hunting in the morning, and I'll be leaving my camera at home most of the time for that, so just filming uh, the possuming at night. So join us, enjoy the, the hunt. See you there, on the hill. Coons to feed the hounds. Well, hunt the coons to feed the hounds. So late in the evening. Well, hunt the coons to feed the hounds. Well, hunt the hounds to catch a hog. The house and catch a hog. So early in the morning. So early in the morning. Well, catch a hog to feed your children. Well, catch a hog to feed your children. Cause you never can have too much bacon I Catch that hog to feed your children Pretty small, eh? It's small for dog tucker. It's in the head. Oh no, he's still hanging on by his tail. I need to put another one on that one, Jeff, before he goes back up, mate. Come in here. Let's put one behind his ear there. He's going to get back up quick before he goes back up. Oh, cheese you out, eh? <laughs> Close range. Yeah. Nice big buck. He's a good neck. He's a good neck. He's a good neck.
Well, the only good possum is a dead possum. Yes, the one. What's your tally now so far up here? Uh, 20 the other 20, day and 25. Yeah, 25. Plus the one we haven't recovered, 26. Yeah. Yeah. Another one bites the dust. Yep. That was a good shot, mate. That was a good shot. Diego's carrying his own little possums on his back. And drink boy, drink a drink. Been a long day. We've hunted from dusk to dawn today. So dogs and men are all pretty tight. Who's on tour? <laughs> the possum train. One full wheelbarrow of partly plucked possums. Going to whack up the claws and look for signs of TB. I'll show you how to do that. Possums make really good dog tucker. You ask any farmer. You feed your dog a possum a day and you can run it on the hill for 14 hours. It'll keep on going. They're full of fat, protein and all the good stuff. There's some things you might want to consider. Uh, you might want to consider whacking off the claws. Um, those little sharp claws there, they could give you a, a vet bill if they go the wrong way down, particularly the small intestine. Um, and also you want to check for TB. So you're looking for, in the possum, you're looking under the arm here, uh, the glands under here, and you're also looking under the neck. Now this one here has been head shot, so it looks like it's uh, infected, but actually that's just caused by the bullet on that side, so that one's actually okay. Uh, a quick test. Then you open up the guts before you feed it and have another look in there. If there's any cysts that uh, have like pus and stuff in them, that's a, a sure sign that something's not right, don't give that to your dogs. The other thing you can do if you can be buggered is cook it up. Now, I don't because it's time consuming and quite frankly dogs are quite happy eating this just like it is. So that's one that's been skinned but most of them have got skins on. Um, they've been a wee bit plucked uh, like this and that's a whole food source. So we'll get busy and we'll whack off the claws. Oh I think we might have missed somebody's claw there. You off? Sweet. Well, the only good possum is a dead possum, so I shoot the bastard down. Well, the only good possum is a dead possum, so I shoot the bastard down. Shoot him down. <laughs> Won't hurt a bit. That chicken's getting dangerously close to the chopping block. Dangerously close. Hey, pup. Hey, pup. Hey, Bruno. Personally, I reckon the best tucker you can give your dogs is a whole animal like this. Let's have a look in there quickly. It looks pretty healthy. Gee, 15 minutes later and you little terrorists have eaten it all. Hey, come on, we'll go for a walk. Come on. 
Did you enjoy that? Hey? Is that good? Come on, come on. Now I'm looking forward to when these guys get a bit older. Come on, pup. And uh, I've got them out in the bush. Hopefully they'll be cranking. Uh, remember, the views on this video are only mine. Not necessarily the only way to do stuff, or the right way, just my views, which I do enjoy sharing with you guys. If you like the video and you've made it this far without falling asleep, congratulations, give it a like. And if you enjoy this sort of stuff, then subscribe to the channel. And uh, be careful out there, be safe, and good luck. The only good possum is a dead possum, so shoot the bastard down. The only good possum is a dead possum, so shoot the bastard down. The only good possum is a dead possum, so shoot the bastard down. The only good possum is a dead possum, so shoot the bastard down. Shoot him down, shoot him down, shoot him down.